guys, what's going on? Y'all already know who it is. It's your boy Q. Happy New Year. It is 2019, and you already know how I'm bringing it. Listen, I got the hottest artist, the, listen, hot across the board. Y'all already know how I'm about to do it. And kicking off the year, I have Cliff Vermeer in the building with me. What's going on? I just want y'all to just, everybody, if you're at home and you're watching, before we even get to this video, I just want you to do like this. <laughs> Cliff smells like a fucking bed of like strawberries and Skittles, a whole money nice. bag. Cliff, welcome to Q in the Streets, man. How Thank are you? Thank you for having me. I'm good. How are you? You are the hottest thing in Atlanta right now. Thank you. I mean, you had the people going crazy, tagging you left and right. Me being a personality wasn't even my platform. I'm mm -hmm. getting tagged. I'm like, who is this? Who is this person? Cliff is a big deal right now. Okay, well listen, before we get into Cliff being the big deal, for mm -hmm. people like myself who really don't know, well, I know because I had to do my homework on the interview, but for, for, those, of you, for those of people on my channel who are watching, mm -hmm. let's get to the beginning of where you come from okay and what made you want to start doing hair because I know you said you want to start doing hair when you were like six seven and eight yeah <laughs> so um my name is Cliff y'all um, I'm from New Jersey so I was born in New Jersey and then I moved to Delaware from Delaware um, you know I started doing hair like when I was like 15 mm -hmm. From 15 like I've always had like a driven talent like literally anything I do I have I, I, I have drive to it like I've never do something and do it halfway mm -hmm. I've been young and I've been about my business for so long so I went from Delaware to Atlanta and then it's like my career just blew up like literally I started doing but before I came to Atlanta I was already doing celebrities but I'm trying to tell you but I mean the celebrity name just escalated Right, when it got to Atlanta. We talking Cardi B. Well, no, I was on Cardi before I came to Atlanta. Okay, I've been on Cardi for like three years. Oh no, you did Cardi before she did Love and Hip Hop, right? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Whew. Yeah, definitely. You so, did Jocelyn. Jocelyn, yeah, I did her once I got to Atlanta. You only um, got to say no other names after that. Like how high, like how much higher can the bar go period. after that? <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about because I think I first got wind of your name last year. BET mm -hmm. did a spread on your name mm -hmm. and, and I think it was another um another like news station who had did a story on you and okay. you wanted to do something like he was like they was like he hit a million dollars. I was just like whoa mm -hmm. first of all let the people know how old you are. So y'all I'm twenty one. Twenty one. Twenty one. <laughs> Can I just wipe the sweat off my forehead? Twenty one? Yeah. Could y'all imagine what y'all would do with a million dollars at twenty one? Well, no, it's not like I just got a million dollars and it was like, oh, yo, I got it. Like, it was over time, you know. Mm -hmm. I, you know, grossed a million. I mean, now I'm probably on like my third or, you know, almost on my third, but I ain't. Three million. Yeah. Can you just touch the hem of my garment? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So what what led you to that? Like how? Like, so literally, so like every hair class I've done right has been a sold out class, whether if it was fifty people or two hundred people, right? Mm -hmm. I'm selling tickets anywhere from three twenty five a piece to um, twelve hundred dollars, and I've been doing this for the last couple of years. So that um, touring with different artists like Cardi, Jocelyn, you know, Trina, like doing different things like that, um, and just doing my everyday clients, selling my hair. Like I've grossed a lot of money. So when people, when you set those ticket prices mm -hmm. to, like, I, like a person like myself, I would say so high, mm -hmm. but then you have girls and boys out there who want to do what it is that you do. Mm -hmm. Like, I can just imagine the sold out shows that you Yeah, have. no, they're sold out because a lot of people want to know, like, they want to know how I'm doing these laces. And, right. You know, the 1200 ticket, it comes with, like, a lot, like a kit, and mm -hmm. you know. Um, oh, so you provide a kit. Yeah, and I heard you provide a cap and gown. It's yeah. like a whole little yeah, it's like a whole graduation. It's a thing. It's so, a thing. so a person like myself who knows nothing about here, by yeah. the end of this class, I'll be able to lace a wig. Like you'll you. be able to lace a wig, but also remember, practice makes perfect. I mean, practice makes perfect. So, okay. you know, you might not go straight home and like, boom, I got it. You know, always remember that practice makes perfect. So, mm -hmm. if you ever go to a class, you're never just gonna go home and like start killing it like what it is, is it's an educational process I, I was gonna make three million dollars no look it's, <laughs> it's an educational process so you know once you keep doing it keep doing it you'll be like oh wow everything cliff was telling me it started to make sense right and then it's it's like learning in school right it's like you know you learn and learn and learn and then when you finally take that test you know the answer through all the success that you've gained what is the number one rule that you wake up to every single day and just or that principle 
that you stick by that one what's the that one, one principle the one principle that i'm kind of still having trouble on is learning how to um deal with different such situations with other people like yeah. other people in the industry mm-hmm. like i don't like when people shade me or uh like i don't like when people you know i don't deal with that very well are you more of a clapback kind of guy I'm or are you more back. of I'm like a you're young so i'm sensitive no. i try to do that and i try to be like you know i'm not but no where i come from disrespect is disrespect so but i've learned like with the platform i have and yeah. like, the way i'm going mm-hmm. i have to learn how to just ignore it and then you gotta pick your battles you can't address all the foolishness <laughs> oh you like me i'm twirling with anybody it yes. can be your grandma yes. grandma was good <laughs> after you cook sunday dinner keep that same right. energy up <laughs> right no that that's real you know because honestly Social media is a gift and a curse. You have people oh, yeah. who don't know you at all, like different hairstylists, different artists, who just are able to go on their phone and type up whatever they want to say, and it's like they're not getting no. Like it's like I can't retaliate to you because you're on social media. Mm-hmm. So if I see you in person, it's, it's a different story. Energy. Yeah. And I know we're gonna get into the music in just a second, but I'm just so intrigued by how successful you've been in the hair industry. Mm-hmm. I love the Jocelyn Hernandez story. Oh, Can you yeah. please tell me, you walking into her house and you telling you, hey who? So <laughs> when I was walking into her house, my friend actually was there. Um, okay. I don't know if he was there when, when she said this, but I had walked in, so she was like, hey ho. I was like, oh, and she was like, thanks for coming to doing a baddest bitch hair. And I was like, well, thanks for having me. Like, you know, I'm trying to act professional, but mm-hmm. she's treating me like a friend and right off the bat, we just like, it was you know i couldn't believe how cool she was like mm-hmm. i'm like most celebrities they don't play with like people who are working with and stuff but she was like like yeah <laughs> like, like homie, right and i'm like bitch like right. come on now we supposed to be working but i really ended up like we had a really really good friendship flew you to la like the next yes, day the next day flew <laughs> me to la um then flew me back to atlanta and at the time i was living in philly flew me back to Atlanta and then from Atlanta, LA, like I was like, girl, can I go home? But can I get a break? yeah, I never complained because it's a blessing. It's a real big blessing. Who was that one person that you would just love to get your hands in their hair? That top A list. I everybody. feel like Beyonce. Come on, let's put it in the atmosphere. I feel like if I got my hands on Beyonce, I, I like honestly, I feel like I wouldn't even want to do nobody else here after her. Like I would Beyonce, like, we could just touch the hem yes. of your hair. If I can just touch your hand, <laughs> let me just Anything. See, Christine is my hand. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Beyonce, he coming for you. 2019, he gonna do your hair. I'm super excited for yeah. you, man. So, let's get into you switching over into moving to Atlanta. How has the transition been from coming from a small town, not as big as Atlanta, and then, as soon as you got here, you kind of like just rocked it because you were already hot. But mm-hmm. moving here is like the black Hollywood. Definitely. So, um, me moving from home to Atlanta. Because you viral at the hair show last year. I think that's where I think the BET. I think it was on like a BET commercial at the hair show. Bronner Brothers. How about it? Mm-hmm. See, I'm, I don't even know. That's famous when you don't even know you went viral. But this is the thing. So, when I moved from um, Delaware to Atlanta, mm-hmm. it was a lot different. Because at home, you know, I, I live in a small, I'm from a small town. Mm-hmm. Moving to Atlanta, there's like a million hairstylists, there's a million rappers, and everyone is so competitive. Yes. I'm not used to competing for anything because I feel like as long as you stay worried about you, you'll prosper. Mm-hmm. And that's a tip I can give to anybody. Like, don't try to compete. Just stay in your lane. And I'm trying to tell you, you really was, you know, prosper. Mm-hmm. But it was very, very different. Like, um, I definitely got into a lot of altercations, but I definitely learned what a lot. sweet you. <laughs> <laughs> No, like not altercations like that. Like I've learned that, like I, I learned that in Atlanta, I was defending myself a lot more than I was back at home. Right. But I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't like change it for the world. Like I love living in Atlanta. I feel like I came out here, I was so inspired. Ooh. Coming out here, people having like the nice bodies and the perfect teeth and the nice hair, nice cars, big houses. It really motivated me to like go super hard. You know, cause when I first moved out here, I didn't live in the best house cause you know, I'm new. Trying to grind, yeah. right? You just trying but to definitely, get it. Definitely, yeah, it definitely moved. Now it's a whole mansion it's over there. Whole, I live in a brand new half a million dollar townhouse. Oh, she living like this and not like this. <laughs> Speaking of teeth, can you just smile? Let me, look, oh my God. That is three million. Look, look, that's three millies right there. Good move gosh. Man. So let's get. <laughs> so we're about to move out of the hair segment. So you, if you could give any girl or boy out there, one tip in being in the beauty industry, what would it be to be successful? 
the tip I would tell you is to stay consistent. Like, yes. do not stop. Like, I know it's going to be times that you want to give up. It's mm -hmm. going to be times that you feel like you're never going to make it. Stay consistent. Always network. Um, and don't... How can I say this? Like, anytime that you're getting signals, like, let's say if, like, a celebrity or somebody or a client hits you up late, late night, and let's say you're not doing anything at all, Sometimes you should just go ahead and dedicate yourself. If it's something that you really, really love and you're really destined to do, I would definitely say, like, any opportunity you get, take it. Because you never know somebody else might take it. And you you don't, you don't want to be a, well, you what if I, or, or, you know, you don't want to be the type of person who, you know, wish you could have did something. Like, take every opportunity you get and run with it. So that's my. So let's, let's learn a little bit about Cliff. What, what do you like to do on your spare time outside of doing hair and doing music? What do, what could I catch you doing on your everyday? I eat a lot. Like, you eat a lot. Yes, I go to no. I get my nails done. That's so crazy. Look, oh, I, I get my nails done like four times a week. It's like an addiction. Addiction. Four times a yeah, week. Yeah, I just got these done yesterday, and I'm going again tomorrow because I don't like the color. Like that's like I like just sitting there. Like I mess with my nail tech. Y'all like, see my face four times a week? Seriously, like I I, I saw the instant addiction. Like I love like clean nails, clean everything. I like when I scrub in my feet. Um, I like I like when they wax me, like you know, I just like getting pampered. That's crazy. That's Four times a that's a lot of sitting in that chair. Yes. These are ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Them are Christmas deals. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you said you like to eat. Mm -hmm. I know Atlanta is down south. What yes. is what's your favorite thing to eat down here? Um, soul food, and I feel like that's why I can't lose no weight. Um, I'm always eating like big daddies. Or, uh, <laughs> so we can go to the gym? Yeah, juicy crab, like well, yeah. not a seafood either. What? I love mm -hmm. Juicy Crab. <laughs> so I know when I'm going to take Cliff out, we're going to go to Juicy Crab. Yeah. And just, just chow down. Mm -hmm. Are you going to wear nails at night? No. So you can pop I, will, I will pop them <laughs> off before. Like, I don't play when it comes to the crab legs, honey. I'm pulling them off. That's so funny. Are you into sports? Like, what? what and or, uh, Let me ask it this way. What is one thing about you that people would be like, I didn't know Cliff do that? Are you like a gun range kind of guy? Do you know anything? Wrestle? Or everything is like beauty. No, I like the wrestle horse play. Uh, okay. And then game is over when I break one of my nails or. Oh, you know, I can just see it now. Pissed yeah. off, like about to. Oh, you know, yeah. broke my nail. Yeah. I mean, we serious about this? Yeah. Thing. <laughs> I mean, what else? What? Do you, I keep asking my friend, is there something that I do that you feel like people wouldn't like? What the fuck? Is it shopping? You got a shopping addiction? Mm -hmm. My friend says I spend a lot of money, like... And you got $3 million, you can just spend what you want to eat. Like, he says I spend money ridiculously. Like, we might, like, okay, I might order some hair, right? And I might be like, uh, I think I want Indian, but I want Brazilian, too. And I might just order all the hair, and I might order, like, five different frontals and closures. And then when it comes, I'm like, all right, now, which one I'm going to get? Or we may go into a store, and I might go in there for one thing, come out spending, like, 3000 Like, oh my we goodness. just, we're always, well, I'm always spending money all So, if I know you're addicted to getting your nails did, I can only imagine yeah. your hair. Oh, yeah. I about to say, I know you get your hair did, what, 10 times a week? No, once a week. <laughs> and, you know, oh, you know what's so funny? This is what people would never notice about me, right? Give it to me. I don't like wearing wigs, right? So, what do I do? What, right when I leave here, when I get in the car, I'm going <laughs> to snatch this wig off. I wear a bonnet seven days a week. Like, I go in public. <laughs> you go in public with your bonnet? Yes. Oh, My gosh. friends hate that. They get so mad at me. You are like, not. We're not going to Juicy Crab like it, that. It be about, I, go, I be going to Juicy Crab like no, that, you too. Put a hat people on. still come up oh. for pictures and everything. Like With the bonnet? Yeah. I just go <laughs> like, Who wants to sleep with hair? The hair be all wrapped around my I neck. I ain't like, sleep with it, but we're not going to Juicy Crab like that. I, I, and that's something I got to work on 2019. Uh, we're gonna work on coming out of the house in your um, good clothes like your right. grandma used to teach you. We're not wearing no bonnets out in this house. Right. So let's get into the music. Atlanta is the mecca of music lately for the past two to three weeks. Mm -hmm. You have been booming mm -hmm. across social media. Let's get into, before we get into the single, which I've been bumping all day, mm -hmm. let's get into what made you want to transition like Cliff the hairstylist doing music and then making people take you serious. Well, what made me want to transform from being a hairstylist to doing rap, um, I felt like I like overworked myself when it came to hair. Like I felt like I literally took every opportunity. I've done every single thing that there was to do with hair that I was like literally getting bored out of my mind. Like um, I was tired of standing on my back. Like you got to remember, I've been doing this since I was in high school. Like prime season, I would, you know, be in a salon till 3, 4 in the morning and then wake up for school 7 a.m. 
every Ooh. single day during prime mm -hmm. season. So I felt like I kind of burnt myself out and I felt like I really experienced a lot in the hair industry at a very young age. So I'm like, one thing about me, like I love teaching classes because I feel like I'm an entertainer. I love to entertain people, whether it's making them laugh, um, like, like, uh, what is that word? Like not hypnotizing them, but I feel like, never fucking <laughs> um, the word like okay like I, I feel like I can get people so intrigued with me like when I perform right. and stuff and I, I just like capturing people's attention like mm -hmm. so me being a um, entertainer it's like really you know why so we went from snatching wigs to spit bars yes so do you so you do you get in the booth and write your own do you mm -hmm. have a do you have no, a no I write my own music yes okay. I write all my own music so let's get into your latest single that you just put out okay get money get money you got a whole lot of money so let's talk about where that came from and what made you say I want to write a song about getting money. Um, get money was so crazy because what I did was anytime I get a song I listen to the beat first, right? Mm -hmm. And then I get the vibe. But I couldn't get a vibe from the song. Like I really couldn't get a vibe, right? So it was so crazy. Um, one day we were outside and we were walking up the steps of my house mm -hmm. and I had dropped my um I had like money was falling out of my pocket and I was playing the instrumental though on my phone. Mm -hmm. And my friend was like, get your money, get your money, get money. And she just kept saying it. But like, I, I was like, what are you seeing? And like, I turned around and the money was like on the ground. So mm -hmm. I was like, girl, that sound good. That's get money, get okay. money, yeah. So I just took it. And friend, I she owe you a percentage. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so being, are you ready for what's getting ready to happen? I'm ready. Like, let me tell you, I wake up every morning like, I cannot stop talking about like I work like literally when I'm not working like yeah. I'll be home on a couch I just gotta like keep working I keep my brain working keep thinking the strategies and ways I can like blow up but I'm definitely I'm prepared child my suitcase is prepared like I'm ready to just be living out of a suitcase I'm ready for it all like yeah. I pray every single night like and that's real big to prayer like and not only praying when you want something but praying just telling him thank you like you know so do you feel like it's hard for people to take you serious as a hairstylist transitioning into no, music? Definitely. Do you feel like people are like, oh, child, Chris, I'm um, just playing? Definitely, I feel like that because people be like, oh, you, oh, you were serious, or even my <laughs> image and you know, like my sexuality and stuff. But like, I feel like people, it's something new, and I feel like you know, it's always gonna be like breaking barriers, kicking doors down. But I'm, I'm ready for it. like any, any. I feel like God doesn't put me through any obstacle that He know I can't get through. Yeah, ah, yes, woo, yes. So I'm ready for it all. I, and I, it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of news. I feel yeah. like I'm gonna get a lot of yeses. But I'm ready for it all. Like I'm so prepared. Like, and I've been thinking about this stuff for a while. Well, one yes that I do thank you for saying yes to was coming and kicking with Q. Oh, no problem. Down at Q and the streets. Yes, I'm super excited for your success. Thank I you. would, we, listen, I feel like we could sit here and talk all day, but you know that can't happen. Where can they find you on all your social medias and where can they find Get Money? On all social medias, you can follow me at Cliff Amir. Get Money is on iTunes, Spotify, Tidal, everywhere. It's everywhere. Um, what can we expect from you for 2019? Well, I'm not supposed to be seeing this, but I see it. So I, I got get an exclusive. Da, da, yeah, da. you're the first person to know this. So my Ooh. publicist is, is going to kick my ass. I got my own um, show, digital show with BET that airs January 13th. And tomorrow we're doing a 15 second preview. And then on the 7th, we're doing a minute preview. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> oh. I got broke it here. Yes, stuff. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you. Super proud. Super, super, super proud of Cliff, guys. Listen, make sure you follow me on all of my social media sites at Quentin Harris 21. Listen, all year we're bringing the hottest interviews and it's about to get crazier than this. 2019 is about to be a phenomenal year. Don't let nobody tell you what you can't do. Continue to chase your dreams. Why? Because dreams are real. Look at me and look at Cliff. Y'all keep it locked. WTNT's Q in the Streets.